Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download Xenos Injector and the basics of using it. Soon there will be a link in the description to a video of how to use it in lots more detail by my friend Alter. I'm just going to be doing the basics of how to download it and use it in this video, so make sure to check that out. Alright, so first of all what you want to do is go to the top link in the description and I'll take you to this site. As you can see it says xenos64.exe and if it does then you're on the right one. So all you need to do is press the download button and once you've done that, you know have it. It's that easy. It should only take a few seconds to download as it's quite small but it's literally that easy. Alright, so I already have Xenos so I'm just going to delete this one because I don't need to. But I'm just going to show you an example now of using it in GTA and how to inject something like a mod menu. It's really easy and simple. Alright, so once you're in GTA, all you want to do is go minimize out GTA, and then you want to get Xenos up, so you just double click it. Well, I have a lot of tabs up. Um, just double click it, and then it'll pop up, like this. And then just get the DLL that you want to use, so I'm using the Slave 1.4. So you just get that, and then drag it in, like this. And then once you've done that, select the process you want to inject it to. So I'm just going to inject it to GTA because that's what I'm on. It'll have some numbers at the end, it doesn't matter at all. But just press inject, so injecting, then idle, that's how you know it's worked. And then just wait a few seconds, some mod menus take to, tend to take a while. So, Alright, so this is how you know what this mod menus work because it pops up with a bunch of tabs and stuff. It doesn't matter, it's nothing bad. Just press F5 with this mod menu. And then, done. It's literally as easy as that. Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing. And if you need anything else, just ask me in the comments or on my Discord, which will also be down below. But apart from that, goodbye.